Alright viewers, what's going on? It's Spartan Warrior 5 today, and today's subject is the whole Modern Warfare 3 future of first-person shooter games in general. Because I think it's something that I think someone should address and bring up to the uh, community. So, here we go. First off, I'm going to start off with where I think first-person shooter games are going to be going in the near future, because... I was thinking about this the other day, and I was just, you know, thinking of, you know, recent games that have come out, and how people play them, and how they're set up, and, you know, where are future games going to be going. So, I got to thinking about it, and, I mean, you see, you see games like Battlefield Bad Company, and Call of Duty Black Ops, Killzone, um, those are your basic kind of like your main sort of shooters if you will um, and most of these now are built around defensive gameplay more strategic you know set up the situation to the point where it's in your favor kind of situations you know I means like taking strategic positions like in a house or you know on a hill a, you know elevated so like a platform or something so that you get the advantage over your opponent. It's not back in the day, World of War, Call of Duty 4, where it's just mindless rushing around and, you know, killing people. It's not that anymore. It's, you need to actually think about what you're doing in these games. You know, especially Battlefield and Killzone. Those are very, very strategic shooter games. They're not rush games, because they're not built around the whole idea of rushing around and, you know, being a whole Rambo. Even though you do have those situations at times, where it's, you know, close quarters combat, just spraying a room full of enemies down with your gun. You do have those from time to time, but they're not as often as previous Call of Duty games. Because Call of Duty really, and Halo 2, if you want to say that too, like include Halo, um, they're more focused around high intense action, you know, uh, in your face kind of gameplay. It's not really strategic take a defensive position and hold on an area it's more rushing high intense action that people have come to know and love so and here's one other thing I think people are starting to not like the whole high intense action feel of Call of Duty and they're starting to like or lean towards the whole defensive strategic gameplay that you see in Bad Company or, excuse me, uh, Killzone. Because it's something different. I mean, in Call of Duty 4 and 5, you got the same sort of feel in those games. I mean, there were same perks, nearly the same weapons, if you really think about it. Um, maybe the rifles are a little bit different and the submachine guns, but really they're nearly the same weapons. Also, you know what else same perks same guns I mean the same sort of feel I mean it's like the whole 60 frames per second high fluid motions going around it's the same feel Modern Warfare 3 added a bit of difference that people you know coming into the game really enjoyed you know the whole new pro perk system new customizable kill streaks the whole pacing of the game was increased I mean back in the day really Call of Duty 4 and 5 the tempo of the gameplay was more like this. You know, just steady, just, you know, always there. But when you go to Modern Warfare 2, it's more of like, you know, high, intense, keep coming, steady pacing. And then you come here with Black Ops, and it slows down again. You know? But... Treyarch really did take some things from Modern Warfare 2, you know, pro perks, customizable kill streaks, but they slowed it down. That's why I think this game isn't so highly seen by most of the community. I mean, yeah, you have some people that think it's a great game and all, but they say also that it's boring, that it's slow paced. Well, all the things that Treyarch did in this game slowed it down. Oh, excuse me. Ugh. Gosh. Puberty. Um. So, and now you see games like Killzone 3 coming out, Homefront coming out, 
all these games that are more strategic based and are getting hyped more often because it's something different. People have seen the same formula in Call of Duty for years now. And I think it's starting to get to that time where people are starting to get sick of this game. Or the sick of the franchise, excuse me. So, what I'm expecting is that Modern Warfare 3 will be the last Call of Duty game for a while. Because it'll give companies time to think back and, you know, evaluate what works, what didn't work, what changes the community wants to see in the game. So, I would expect Modern Warfare 3 to finish up the story and then just take a long, much-needed break. Because, if you really think about it, the whole genre, or uh, the whole Call of Duty series has just been reusing the same formula over and over again. And it hasn't changed much, if you really think about it. And so, that was pretty much the same case, really, with Medal of Honor and... Uh, games of that nature, but again, they took a long break, and then you came out with a new Medal of Honor, it was fresh, it was new, sure it had some problems and issues, but, you know, it changed the tempo of the game, and it, you know, was entertaining for the uh, time that it was out, but I will say this, okay, you're going to see in the next few years, probably, shooters are going to be slowing down being more strategical and, you know, going to be much more defensive, more realistic. I mean, you're going to have more wartime situations than just these, you know, ridiculous running around in some nuke town, you know, shooting up the whole damn place. It's not going to be like that, at least in my opinion. I don't think games are going to, you know, keep this whole cartoonish kind of feel to it. You know, they're going to be more you know, gritty sort of war situations that you get in bad company or in kill zone, you know. But this also brings up a good point. Most of the community doesn't like the whole high intense action uh or wait. The community likes the whole high intense action, I'm sorry. Um, you know, people who like to go quick scoping or rush the enemy spawns or, you know, things like that. And so that's where I think Brink is going to shine. It has the potential to be a very great game. It takes the aspects of defensive and strategic gameplay and the whole Call of Duty rushing high intense action kind of feel to it. Because it's like a free roaming first person shooter game. Like, you have a situation where you're, you know, gunning down on a position. You're, you know, your team is down and there's another enemy squad coming in so you need to send someone out on a different path free run and flank around the enemy position and you know secure the area or something of that nature or something so just a final little overview I don't know how much time we have um, a little overview I think the whole high intense action of Call of Duty is going to fade away for a while and the whole strategic gameplay sort of feel, you know, tactical gameplay, defensive gameplay, is going to really come out and shine. Because gamers really, I feel like, want to see something different in their games. Not just have this whole recycled Call of Duty formula. So you're going to see seeing games like Killzone 3, Homefront, uh, uh, what is it, Battlefield 3, really shine. But then also those people who really like Call of Duty, you know, really big into this franchise, might go to Brink because it's more of a combination of the whole defensive gameplay and uh, fast-paced action. So let me go. what you guys think about this. What are your ideas or what are your thoughts about Modern Warfare 3, um, where Call of Duty is heading, and where first-person shooter games are heading in general? So I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget to rate, comment, and or subscribe if you like. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace out and uh, have a nice day.